But if you are the Prime Minister of Pakistan, and you are multi, multi-millionaire, and you steal, which is what the Supreme Court of Pakistan is now accusing you of, answer, you cut off the hand. That is the punishment for stealing. But for riba, the punishment is more than stealing. It is a declaration of war from Allah and His Messenger for riba in this form. Donc la différence entre le vol et euh, l'utilisation du riba, c'est euh, que le châtiment du vol, c'est de, c'est donc en c'est de couper la main. Et là, euh, effectivement, on ne parle pas de celui qui veut qui couper la main de celui qui vole euh, euh, pour manger. Et par contre, s'il y a quelqu'un de très important ou qui, qui, qui a de l'argent, euh, bien sûr que la loi s'applique sur lui. Ce qui n'est pas, ce qui n'est pas, euh, n'est pas le cas dans le châtiment de Riba. Euh, donc Dieu, son prophète, a déclaré la guerre euh, sur cette, cette personne. Le prophète, Allah's blessing be upon him, said, If you meet a man, coming to the market to sell his goods a truckload of apples and you buy his goods from him before he enters the market and when he enters the market he then discovers he could have gotten a better price in the market. The Prophet said, Allah's blessing be upon him, this is riba, because you exploited his ignorance of the market price to rip him off. You got a profit or a gain through deception to which you were not justly entitled. That is riba or usury. Donc le prophète a dit que si quelqu'un euh, rentre au marché et qu'il a un produit à vendre, et si jamais euh, la personne achète ce produit sans que la personne sache son prix sur le marché, et euh, la différence qu'il gagne, c'est du riba, et euh, parce que euh, il, 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 the monetary system and the banking system, the two sisters, which has come from the modern Western world, is doing precisely that. It creates bogus money which it then uses to enrich itself unjustly and in the process it impoverishes the rest of the world not only is money created out of nothing but then the bank will lend you money that the bank does not have money that is fictitious and the bank is lending you money that the bank does not have. And the bank is lending you that money on interest. If there was any ambiguity and you were not convinced, the governor of the Central Bank of Germany, a few months ago, I think, came out in the open and said, let's get rid of this misconception. The bank is not lending you money that you have deposited in the bank. No. The bank is lending you fictitious money and lending it to you on interest. These are transactions based on deception. And they yield a gain and a profit to which you are not justly entitled. 
Hence they qualify as riba or usury. And the proper response for tho from those who worship the one God is a declaration of war from the one God and from his messenger. Donc, euh, les deux systèmes, le système monétaire et le système bancaire, favorisent tous les deux la euh, euh, transaction avec déception. Euh, en, en faisant deux choses, la première, c'est la création de, de, de la monnaie virtuelle. Et le, de, le deuxième point, c'est euh, le prêt d'argent euh, qui n'existe pas, d'ailleurs, et en acceptant les intérêts. Donc, dans les deux cas, on met, on, on met l'acte euh, de l'IVA. The process through which real money was removed from the market and was replaced with bogus money, fictitious money, was a process that took a long time to be accomplished. We saw the beginnings of this process, unfortunately so, in the crusades which were launched by the Western world. Uh, there were four of them, and uh, subsequent to the crusades, We then saw from the Western world something more ominous. And that is a scientific and technological revolution which is still unfolding. and which is like nothing has ever been, ever occurred in history like this. Absolutely unique. And which delivered to the Western world two things in particular. Number one, military power which could not be resisted by anyone. And number two, industrial power. And the two combined to deliver to the Western world leadership over the whole world, or dominion over the whole world. Donc, euh, le, le, le processus de remplacement de la, de la vraie euh, argent avec euh, la fausse argent a pris beaucoup de temps surtout avec l'arrivée des, des guerres de christianisme et, 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 et euh, donc, euh, qui, donc euh, la cause de, de ces croisades a, a, a eu euh, la révolution numérique et scientifique euh, donc euh, qui ont permis, permis euh, une, euh, une révolution euh, plutôt un pouvoir militaire et industriel The Western world then proceeded at the point of a blood-stained sword to colonize the rest of the world. And if this had not been achieved, they could not change the world of money. Having colonized the rest of the world, they then used their control over the rest of the world to gradually remove real money from the market and to incrementally, incrementally replace it with bogus money. Donc, euh, par, conséquent, par conséquent de ces colonisations euh, qui, ont, euh, qui ont été effectuées partout dans le monde, donc euh, ça, ça a mené à deux, deux points importants, c'est la suppression du, du, du système, du vrai système monétaire, 
qui est le remplacé par euh, un système qui favorise leur intérêt. By the time of the Second World War, in uh, 1944, the Western world was ready to institutionalize the new money in the form of a monetary system at Bretton Woods which would be based upon bogus money, fictitious money, haram money. Donc à la fin de la Deuxième Guerre mondiale, c'est-à-dire en 1944, donc le monde, le monde occidental a, a profité dans la conférence de Bretton Woods de, 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 de l'installer et de proposer un système monétaire qui, 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 qui l'arrange. I was actually surprised when I learned that at Bretton Woods, Britain wanted to have a monetary system with only one paper currency for the whole world. And that <laughs> the United States of America said, hold it. Not so fast. You don't want them to see the face of the snake, huh? <laughs> so, Bretton Woods emerged not with one paper money, but with hundreds of different paper currencies. Donc, j'ai été étonné à la conférence de Bretton Woods, c'est que... Les, les Britanniques euh, ont, voulu, ont voulu imposer un système monétaire euh, pour le monde entier. Et là où les États-Unis euh, euh, étaient étonnés un peu de cela, de cela, et donc il y avait la conséquence de plusieurs propositions du système monétaire. Instead of one currency, one paper money for all of mankind, which Britain wanted. The United States said, no, we will have several different kinds of paper money instead of one currency. Donc, les Britanniques ont proposé un seul système monétaire pour le monde entier et les États-Unis ont proposé différents systèmes monétaires pour différents parts du monde. The second thing that came out of Britain was, however, and Britain didn't like it, of course was that in this monetary system of paper money, the U.S. dollar would rule the world of money. It would be the international currency. Donc le deuxième point qui est tiré de cette conférence, c'est que les Britanniques ont accepté que le système, dans le système monétaire, euh, le, le dollar soit, euh, soit utilisé comme euh, la monnaie de référence. The change in 1944 from a world in which the sterling pound ruled the world of paper money to one in which the US dollar will replace the sterling pound as the international currency mark the transition from Pax Britannica to Pax Americana. <laughs> 